Hi, this is Bob the Mortgage Coach Mitchell, and we're continuing on our glossary, our mortgage term glossary, um, terms that you might bounce across as you go through the process of trying to navigate buying or refinancing a house. We're down to APR, um, annual percentage rate. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and read this definition to you because it goes into a little bit of detail, but, uh, but bear with me. It's, so annual percentage rate, the annual cost of a loan to a borrower, like an interest rate, the APR is expressed as a percentage. Unlike an interest rate, however, includes other charges or fee, fees such as mortgage insurance, most closing costs, discount points, and any loan origination fees that have been built into the loan. The Federal Truth in Lending Act requires that every consumer agreement disclose the APR. Since all lenders must follow the same rules to ensure the accuracy of the APR, borrowers can use the APR as a good basis for comparing the cost of similar credit transactions. All right, that's the official definition. Basically, the APR is an imaginary number. It's the interest rate with the points and fees factored in over a 12-month period. It's always going to be higher than your interest rate. So if you had an interest rate of 6% and you paid for an appraisal and title insurance and maybe a point to get the rate, all that is going to be factored into your APR. Okay, so it's an imaginary number. Uh, it does allow you to do a better, you know, apples to apples comparison when you're looking at a loan, a loan estimate form to see, okay, a, lender A is at 6.09% and lender B is at 7.12. Well, even if the interest rate is the same, you can see that you're paying a lot more fees on the 7.12. So it does allow you to compare that. Um, but again, remember, it's an imaginary number. The big thing that you want to work into is what your interest rate and what your payment's going to be.